What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and welcome back to Tekken 8 in 8 minutes, and now we're gonna do none other than Jin Kazama. The man who's about to save us all, and he will succeed, believe me, he is one strong motherfucker in Tekken 8. Holy shit, some of the best attacks in the game, frankly I feel a bit sorry for Kazuya to be honest. Uh, he's also very all round, he can do everything, and he and then some. Uh, and he's also very accessible. Uh, typically Jin is a very hard character to pick up and play, he's also very hard to master. But this time around, he's the accessible Mishima archetype. They've gone to great lengths to l greatly lower the mechanical skill needed. You now have one button electrics with all of its strengths and properties. They've also streamlined the move list greatly, so it's just less, less stuff to worry about. Uh, and yeah, super strong, he's very flashy, I love the flashiness of his stuff. How's this for a 13 frame while standing punish? It's so cool, I love that move. Uh, Jin is cool uh, in general, I think here. And they also patched out his weaknesses, he used to struggle with ground game. Not so much anymore with the new all-powerful dive kick, the new scourge low is also a great ground game tool. He used to struggle with reach. His jab now has, I think, twice the reach of his jab in Tekken 7. Super nice. His down forward one might be the longest reaching down forward one in the game. That's pretty nice when you have a plus five unblock electric, right, with pushback. But now you effortlessly check with the new down forward one. That's pretty nice to have. Uh, you can play this guy any way you want, he can do anything, but let's just start with Mishima stuff. So he has electric, just frame, you can wave pressure into this. Bounce straight away, so a little bit less combo opportunity com compared to classic electric. Uh, comes out at 14 frames, plus 5 on block, what's not to like. But you can now do it without execution, again accessible. Just do Zen, forward 3, 4, cancel that by holding down forward and you're going to breaking step where his eyes glow red, very intimidating. Press 2 button at any time to do a real electric. This is not a non-electric, you know, wind hook fist, that's minus 10. Just press one button to get the real electric. So very accessible, great for you wanna, who want to pick up and play Mishima. Uh, you, you can even do this so quickly, you can combo like this. So that's uh, really nice to have. And then combine that with all of the ways you can go into breaking step, like for example from a down for two, which is a super powerful mid check. Notice reach and safe on block. On block or hit, go into breaking step, and now you can pressure like this. No execution. This already is pretty insane pressure. Your opponent is, is gonna wanna duck that electric or jab interrupt. CD1 will go under the jab and launch Crouchers. For huge damage. Jin has really good <laughs> combos in this game. Really good combos. Uh, you can also do a special breaking step from Zen 1-2. Be uh, before he does the second hit, hold down forward, and now you can do a, a special breaking step that covers the entire goddamn screen. So I can threaten you with electrics from distances where I really shouldn't be able to. Uh, so yeah, pretty nice stuff here, I would say. And also Mishima style Demon Paw has more reach than ever. Reaches super far due to an explosion at the end of a fist there. So it hits where you feel it shouldn't, uh, and on block, uh, minus 8, with a lot of pushback, and in heat, it's a proper launcher. And the combos just last forever. Super nice, right? And 50-50, we do it in as well, forward forward free, just like our father. Minus 3, minus 4 on block, natural hit launcher, right? Super nice. Can cancel into any jab string, if we want to. Super nice to have, we have our Hell Sweep. Doesn't launch anymore, but does big damage and sets up killer ground game. For fast enough here, Bagoosh, really strong. And CD1 is our mid launcher from Weivu, that's minus 13 on block. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. My god, can I do a CD1? There we go, uh, very good to have. If you want to play counter hit, forward 4 is... I, I don't want to keep saying infinite reach all the time, but I, I don't know what other word to use. Uh, minus 8, safe on block. If this counter hits, 
comfortably run in with back free at any distance to get a big combo. Uh, you can also Zen cancel this for Zen mix-ups. You can throw here, you can do Zen 2, power crush, if you think we're gonna try and interrupt you. You can safely mid-check with minus 3, uh, Zen 1. You can go into breaking step from Zen and do all of that stuff. Uh, yeah, it's pretty strong. Another great counter it is Scourge. This low does everything. Super damaging, plus 4 on normal hit. Again, if you're grounded, hits grounded, staggers them on the ground. It's super evasive. It launches on counter hit. And best of all, it's only minus 14 on block, so they can't launch you. Uh, do this attack a lot, in my opinion. And then uh, a high counter hit homing is standing for. Keep them honest. Don't let them step you. If this counter hits, boom, heat engager. Or you can do down for 1 4 if you want a wall splat uh, or plus 10. I don't want to heat engage. Really good. Poking 2 1 4. Absurd string. Absurd. High mid, so they can't duck it. Uh, 10 frame startup. Uh, plus 6 normal hit. Only minus 3 on block. Basically neutral. Can add a third hit, but it's also safe. And if it counter it interrupts, you get a free scourge. Uh, a pretty absurd. And again, jab, long reach. Uh, can do 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 3. Neutral. Uh, can do down for 1, infinite reach. Down for 1, 4. If we try and duck, down for 1, 4, 4 is there. Uh, down 4 is an evasive low. Very strong. Only minus 12 if you want to save for options. Sh option. Very safe, very evasive. Back to 1 is one of the best pokes in the game. Incredible reach. Natural. Is very delayable. And completely safe. Incredible poke string. Uh, down back 4 is a low that builds momentum. It has no evasiveness, but plus 3 on hit. And uh, minus 13 on block. And a counter hit gives a ton of frames at 13. But yeah, this let's, let's just say this low kind of overshadows it. And then down for two again is exceptionally strong. Evasion up for two is a very evasive mid check, but counter hit knocks down and wall splat and is safe on block at minus seven. Ridiculous. You can do a devil gin style samsara from Zen by pressing up one. Only 14 frames start up. Incre incredibly evasive. Uh, steals the opponent's turn. And it's only minus 16 on block. And it's super hard to launch punish because it's so fast. We have to react so quickly to this. Um, and it has so much reach. Uh, th this move is just ridiculous in my opinion. Uh, one of the best evasive tools in the game. You have a complete throw game. Uh, two break. One break. One plus two break. Complete throw game. You have one of the best parries in the game. With, with in special parry. Parry an attack and then do whatever you want, basically. Most of the time you'll do something like this, but if they recover slowly enough, just do can can. Launch your opponent. One of the highest potential parries in the game. Absurdly strong. And then you can add a million other tools like this. Plus 13 on hit. That's for free. What's it what is it on block? Um plus six on block. Absolutely absurd attack. And again, normal hit, no counter it. Oh, you just died. Nice. Uh, super strong, can do anything. He's a hero. We all love him. Please save us all from the evil devil, Kazuya Jin. You're the best. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, everyone.